January 3rd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible. Genesis, chapters 5 and 6 from the Old Testament. This is the record of the family line of Adam. When God created humankind, he made them in the likeness of God. He created them male and female. When they were created, he blessed them and named them humankind. When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness, according to his image, and he named him Seth. The length of time Adam lived after he became the father of Seth was 800 years. During this time, he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Adam was 930 years, and then he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he became the father of Enosh. Seth lived 807 years after he became the father of Enosh, and he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Seth was 912 years, and then he died. When Enosh had lived 90 years, he became the father of Kenon. Enosh lived 815 years after he became the father of Kenon, and he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Enosh was 905 years, and then he died. When Kenon had lived 70 years, he became the father of Mahalalel. Kenon lived 840 years after he became the father of Mahalalel, and he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Kenon was 910 years, and then he died. When Mahalalel had lived 65 years, he became the father of Jared. Mahalalel lived 830 years after he became the father of Jared, and he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Mahalalel was 895 years, and then he died. When Jared had lived 162 years, he became the father of Enoch. Jared lived 800 years after he became the father of Enoch, and he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Jared was 962 years, and then he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. After he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked with God for 300 years, and he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Enoch was 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and then he disappeared because God took him away. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he became the father of Lamech. Methuselah lived 782 years after he became the father of Lamech and he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Methuselah was 969 years, and then he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he had a son. He named him Noah, saying, This one will bring us comfort from our labor and from the painful toil of our hands because of the ground that the Lord has cursed. Lamech lived 595 years after he became the father of Noah, and he had other sons and daughters. The entire lifetime of Lamech was 777 years, and then he died. After Noah was 500 years old, he became the father of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. When humankind began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of humankind were beautiful. Thus they took wives for themselves from any they chose. So the Lord said, My spirit will not remain in humankind indefinitely, since they are mortal. They will remain 420 more years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also after this, when the sons of God were having sexual relations with the daughters of humankind, who gave birth to their children. They were the mighty heroes of old, the famous men. 
But the Lord saw that the wickedness of humankind had become great on the earth. Every inclination of the thoughts of their minds was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made humankind on the earth, and he was highly offended. So the Lord said, I will wipe humankind whom I have created from the face of the earth. Everything from humankind to animals, including creatures that move on the ground and birds of the air, for I regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the sight of the Lord. This is the count of Noah. Noah was a godly man. He was blameless among his contemporaries. He walked with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth was ruined in the sight of God. The earth was filled with violence. God saw the earth, and indeed it was ruined, for all the living creatures on the earth were sinful. So God said to Noah, I have decided that all living creatures must die, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. Now I am about to destroy them and the earth. Make for yourself an ark of cypress wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it with pitch inside and out. This is how you should make it. The ark is to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Make a roof for the ark and finish it, leaving 18 inches from the top. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle, and upper decks. I am about to bring floodwaters on the earth to destroy from under the sky all living creatures that have the breath of life in them. Everything that is on the earth will die. But I will confirm my covenant with you. You will enter the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your son wives with you. You must bring into the ark two of every kind of living creature from all flesh, male and female, to keep them alive with you. Of the birds after their kinds, and of the cattle after their kinds, and of every creeping thing of the earth after its kind, two of every kind will come to you so you can keep them alive. And you must take for yourself every kind of food that is eaten and gather it together. It will be food for you and for them. And Noah did all that God commanded him. He did indeed. God, there's people listening right now who are listening to your words and are feeling that they have not found favor in your sight, that they just can't seem to get beyond the sin in their life, beyond something bad that they have done or a path that they have taken. And God, I just want to take a moment and remind everyone that you sent your only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for all of our sins. That if we simply say, Father, I have sinned against you, and I am sorry, that you will take those sins away from us so that they're not a burden in our life anymore, that they don't hold us back, that they can't keep us from doing and living our life for what it is that you want us to do. God, I just know that there's people listening right now who need that burden lifted. And I pray that you will come into their life today as they seek you out and help them with that burden. Remove that guilt. Remove that sin. Let their hearts be light with the love and grace you have for us. That they can walk a path free of any sort of burden. That we can just do amazing, glorious things for you without being held back. God, thank you so much sending your son to die for us for our sins so that you will be glorified we love you so much 
your son's name we pray. Amen.